Greetings, brethren. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. To open us up today, I'm going to be speaking to you about redeeming something. And this is going to involve our time, and as if any of you remember, Sister Bard, she spoke on our time last Sunday evening. And this is the very thing I was thinking about. This kind of sparked me to think about it a little more. And so I'll be encur encouraging you with a text from Ephesians. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15 I've read this before. It says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. And then following that, it says, Redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Let's see how a few of the other versions read this. This redeeming the time. Other ones say, even they, they don't quite say it as well as this redeeming the time, but they do still get the general idea. They say, Make the most of your time. Make the most of every opportunity, buying up your opportunities, making good use of the time, and making every minute count. Now, honestly, I'm not entirely satisfied with those. It's not that they're not true, but they just don't, they just don't say enough, you know. There's something very unique about this expression, redeeming the time. Because when it says, make the most of every opportunity, it's speaking like as if the time's already in your possession. But redeeming the time, it's speaking about... You have to purchase that time. You have to retrieve it yeah. and use it for a specific purpose. So, I mean, the closest you got to this in these other translations was this buying up. That's kind of like what you get from redeem, is to buy up, purchase. And so, like, with that in mind, like, what exactly does that mean to redeem time? The word rendered as redeeming literally means to buy up and purchase. While redeeming means to set free as from service or bondage. In this particular sense, the Spirit is saying that we rescue time from waste and improve, it, and improve that time for greater and better purposes. But what, why does it have to be redeemed, you might ask? The other half of the verse tells us exactly why we have to redeem that time. It says, because the days are evil. And as you can, as you may know, um, verse 15 and 16 are one sentence. And the last part of 16 locks in with everything said in verse 15 and 16. Why should you walk circumspectly? Because the days are evil. Why should you not walk as fools but as wise? Because the days are evil. And likewise, why redeem the time? Because the days are evil. We're living in a world that's full of distractions. The world offers many various things that require your time. People all around us are using their time for self-pleasure and personal entertainment. We live in an environment where time is wasted in great amounts. The world tells us to waste our time as well, but the Spirit does not tell us to waste time, but to redeem it. So how do we redeem the time? What is the price of the time's redemption? Letting go of sinful pleasures of this world, departing from this world and drawing nigh to Christ, abiding with Him. By letting go of sinful passions, you're gaining spiritual abilities. Why do you, what do you use the time for? What do you use your time for now? Is it used for God? I encourage you to do, to do this very thing. Use, seek to use your time to serve God. Um, if there are things that you do that you feel waste time, cease from doing that thing, and by doing so, you're freeing up that time to do something for God. That's redeeming that time. You're snatching it, retrieving it, and you're not just doing nothing with it. You're improving that time, the use of it. The more you let go of the world, the more, you, the more time you redeem for greater purchases. It's not just merely freeing up time just for nothing, but you have to put that time to good use just as the Spirit says. You have to use what you rescue. You have to use what you have redeemed. So I encourage you to improve that time that you buy up, build on it, cause it to become something of great spiritual profit. So many waste their time and use it to get close to the world. Take the opportunities you purchase and use them to help you grow closer to God. Take every opportunity to meet with the brethren and grow in Christ. And you can just observe the many times we meet. We have examples of redeeming time. For example, we had our heirs of promise meeting yesterday with the children come. That requires freeing up of time. We free, we usually, like Saturday night, people like to do their own thing, but we sanctified that time for the Lord. Or you can take a Wednesday night. We sanctify an evening to come and discuss. So all day Sunday we sanctify. We Friday, you know, that's the night where everyone likes to kind of have fun and stuff. That's the end of the work week. That's when Saturday's the next day. You don't have to wake up early, and we sanctify a Friday night. That's right. We redeemed the time. Yes. And even we have brethren in another country right now 
Did not time have to be redeemed for that to happen? Yeah. They had to make they had to make time yeah. for that. And so that's an example of this very thing. You're taking that time, but you're put you're 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 doing something profitable with it. It's not so much like I don't feel like doing that, I'm doing this. It's just like this is wasteful. I'm gonna make this useful, something profitable. It's gonna benefit me in some way instead of taking away from me. So I encourage you, ready yourselves for the coming of Christ. Use your time to do that. Read and learn what the Holy Scriptures say. Take every opportunity to meet with the brethren. These, all these things require time. Redeem that time and use it for God.